do money, love, creativity in this one. We're going to check the energy from yesterday from Light Seers. We have the Page of Swords. Okay, so we're going to do a shuffle. That would be you at the bottom of the deck. It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It is a student. It starts off as a student. So you could be getting into something new in terms of your business, Libra. Let's say you have an at-home business or you've always worked from home. Some of you are teachers and instructors. And just from letters and correspondence between you guys, a lot of you are um, business owners. So we're going to do this in terms of your creativity overall. Money will go first, then it's a little bit of love, and then we're going to do family. So money, love, family. All right, MLF is how we're going to do it. So let's get the messages. Page of Swords was the bottom of the deck. Seven of Cups is the first flipper. From the Light Seers, he's looking at a ton of pottery. They're all gold except for one bowl. Now, as a reader, my interpretation is the copper bowl, which is more red there. He is fancying a little bit more. There's something in the options that seems a little bit more dreamable a little bit more lived in or can be lived in. And so the Seven of Cups is your first for creativity. This morning I got a channel that many Libras are going to experience options that might be overwhelming, but they're healthy. You see, the reason why they're being presented, it's a time of receiving. So Seven of Cups, it's a choice card, just like the lovers. And it could be maybe the third bowl is optimal. Maybe the fourth bowl allows you to move, right? Maybe the fifth bowl is you becoming a manager, moving up. And there's something about moving up too. You could be expected to have a promotion, Libras, or this could be a spiritual promotion even. What I mean by that is it's not inclusive to just occupational work. It might be something that you've been working on over time and you move up, kind of like an ascension. So Seven of Cups is your first message. And we're going to start off by, I will always place the card last, that way you guys can remember visually. What's the message paired with the Seven of Cups? Thank you, King of Pentacles, something that offers real stability, okay? Not like something that's very temporary. You know, Libras don't like temporary. They like stability. They're a relationship-based sign, or you are. If you're more of a Libra Venus, this is very much, you know, with what you do, with what you're passionate about. And we see that there's a loyalty forming in the current with the dog. He's a big sign of that. It could be something you've been following for a long time. Okay, and you have true passion there. It's not just something that's a fly-by-night type of thing. We see the dog. Um, I'm also hearing right now Bon Jovi's living on a prayer. So you might be praying more than usual. You might actually be seeking more spiritual help and to co-create via source and your angels. Okay, I see that in the dynamic of both gentlemen, even if you're a Libra feminine. I see that something's like very strong here, heart-based. All right, coins as well. I feel like it'll bring stability over time. Can I see the King of Pentacles paired with something? What can we get with that something in career? Seven of Pentacles. It's self-growth. It's something that's birthed from your own brain. Many of you maybe have seen something lately or you're catching things on your feed. You know, your phone produces certain messages as well. If you ever notice you clicked on a video, you've never seen the reader before and they're giving you a brand new message, okay? I feel like you're even being introduced to um, other content, other platforms that inspire you. Maybe it's that melting pot of everybody's flavor, and I feel like that's concocting something too in the moment. Now, what, I, um, what I'm also getting here is that you might be introduced to something that you call. I mentioned this last week in your videos, and you keep seeing the same message over and over again. This is like that. It's the seven of pentacles, but you're getting downloads about it, okay? Investments, opportunities, where you can put your talents and skills for career. Um, some of you have a boss too that might be overviewing you or reviewing you in the moment. Even if you're not up for review, this person cons uh, consistently watches you, okay? Maybe from afar, you don't even know about it. Can I see more messages? Can I get two cards for career? Two of them, even if we have to flip them over. The Knight of Pentacles, one more. Thank you. The Empress, I told you. It's kind of like you're being assessed at this time in a kind way. All right. Your skills could be amazing. 
I'm also picking up on um, a female Libra who does a lot with their hands, all right? It's something that you create from home. Some of you might have like an Etsy online business. Um, maybe some of you work where you're consistently like tiring your hands out because I see almost these rundown hands, but you take care of them at night and that's the channel. It's a very weird channel, but it's something that you do physically and it takes a lot out of your body, okay? the empress here someone's assessing like how you invest too maybe they get opportunities and um inspiration from you libra female for libra males it's almost like a project you've grown over time okay there's evidence stacked up of it some of you might even be doing something with a camera for career okay or you're doing something from home that gathers extra funds and it might be an online business or you have a website with the seven of pentacles we see the page of wands and I pick it up delicately because the cards are already so scuffed up from many years of ownership, but page of wands is enthusiasm. I think you're gaining this back, okay? December, January, and February. You're going to see that that little prediction, and we just saw 555 on the viewfinder, which is change. The page of wands is this new inspiration. You will even surprise yourself, okay? I guarantee you, just wait for it to come. We have another one here, the sun. The sun is the most productive card in terms of career. And when you read it for career readings, it is about all that income coming back to you, okay? It's not an aha moment. It can be read that way in a career reading, but mostly it's productivity because the sun allows agriculture to grow. The sunlight provides so many things, uh, energy, right? It's an energy source. So it provides you to work efficiently. It also provides energy. And we have El Sol there. Okay, beautiful. Librianos, you have beautiful cards for career. King of Pentacles is the leader there, the Empress, and the Sun. So let's do a little bit of love, shall we? Your last video was lovey. Four of Cups, Six of Swords, and one I can't see. The Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is like, it's waiting and it's almost there, okay? It's also a new discoveries card. You could be waiting on a new discovery, or you're waiting on your aha moment. Because we asked for love, many of you could be in this waiting room now for somebody special, okay? But I feel like the shadow work has been done, also the extreme days when the dark night of the soul was here, and anyone who's awakened, they go through a dark night of the soul. It's a part of the initiation, okay? And some of your activations come from the dark night of the soul. Two of Wands here is the beginning, so we'll see what transpires. I feel like this is more past energy, that's the past, the two of wands. And I feel certain about that. The six of swords, let's go to the next one. It's also you. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could have a Gemini moon or an Aquarius moon too. I see here with the six of swords, you're already ready to go through new things, okay? Um, preparedness too. You have your bags packed is sort of what I'm getting here. And I'm channeling very quickly. So just give me a moment because a lot of things are coming to me right now. I do see like almost, um, I see a suitcase, okay? And I see someone that's heavily prepared. And it's almost like that tippy toe. The tippy toe before you take the big leap, not to dive down, but it's almost like you're tiptoeing to the next chapter. Slow and steady wins the race. The six of swords is about that. There's no rushy rushy about this card. It's somebody who takes their time in love, okay? And you'll know the right person. You don't need a download to feel the right person. You will just know based out of your intuition. And we all have felt that when we've picked a correct person or they've been bad seeds or bad flavors. All right. It's like a Starburst that tastes like licorice. And you'll know because there's a distinction in taste. So we have the Four of Cups. Let's go to this. I don't believe the Four of Cups is you today. I read energy, not necessarily the cards. The Four of Cups is someone in your environment. So Libra males, there's a female that's thinking of you as a missed opportunity. And for my Libra feminines, there's a man thinking of you as the Four of Cups. We're going to get a card to side by side that with the Four of Cups. Thank you. The Nine of Cups. I'm going to get the top of the deck. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. So these two cards would be how they follow you. All right, they have a lot of cups of emotion for you in the Nine of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but I also have air signs here. And this person 
is almost doing too much, right? She's in the air because it's an air card. She's reading and she's also holding this balloon of light bulbs. There's a lot going on with the Page of Swords. And I feel like this person feels like you're a missed opportunity, okay? They could be gathering ideas because the light bulbs are ideas to come towards you. I feel like it could be correspondence this time, okay? Since it's an air card. But you could have already gotten these Eight of Wands. You could have gotten the message already. And I feel like uh, it changed the way that you felt about them as well. So you're reassessing in the current. Let's get a new person too. For a brand new person, I have to do that. What is the brand new person's feelings? Please and thank you. The Wheel of Fortune. Look at that magenta, beautiful Wheel of Fortune. Let me show you there. It almost looks like a fair, like a fair tent. Carnival tent from like back in the 1920s. The star, they love you. They can't get enough of you. I also think that they know you work hard in your spiritual health too. You have so many good cards coming from the new person. Ten of Cups. It almost looks like the world card too. It looks very similar to the world card, but what I see here is they know you had to end it in a previous chapter with someone who was very unhealthy for you. They view you as such a happy person. And there's something about like how you show your star energy to them. Does that make sense? It's a star energy this person understands. Can, can I see the star? Why does the person view? Yeah, intuitively, they know that you might be the one for them. And this might scare some of you, not to intend to scare you, but I think they see you as a very intuitive, um, handsome, beautiful energy. Uh, they might even want to share you with their friends, Libra. It's something about like introducing you to their friends as well to see how that pans out. And they know that you will be loved by anyone that they bring towards um, their family, meaning with the star. The two major arcanas of, our, of importance are the Wheel of Fortune and the star. They're huge. You know, to view you in this light is very much about major arcana energy. You're the star and the Wheel of Fortune to this person. It's like someone in the cartoons, if you remember in the past, how the eyeballs would kind of come out of the characters in the 50s and 60s. And I'm seeing that as well. It's almost like Auga <laughs> to have a deal with the star. Auga would be the star. All right. So let's see here in the conclusion. What do we got for conclusion? King of Swords. King of Swords, Four of Wands. The Ace of Wands, I expected that in the Lover's card. This person really wants to start it off right. They want to promise the, the cool masculine and feminine moments with you, meaning they want to have a spiritual relationship, okay? Uh, you might even brought them, you might have brought them into a spiritual relationship, Libra, where this person is very helpful um, and they feel guided by what you teach them. So it could be coming from spiritually based things that you've both learned. Maybe they're into Zodiacs as well. And that intrigues you because it wasn't hard to make this person get into it either with the lover's card. We have the ace of wands here too. New beginnings for the both of you. I feel like you're also dealing with a Taurus, Cancer, possibly a new Pisces as well. And I have Virgo and Aquarius with the star. Okay, so you could be dealing with that as a new love. Um, Six of swords is also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could even be another Libra. Okay. Um, let's look at family. What are the family messages, please? Only flippers, the five of cups, sideways, the emperor, and the five of pentacles. There's somebody in your family, as we do environmental now, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you were dealing with a Capricorn more so. Somebody feels at a loss, okay? I feel like a family member was like really rude in the past to some of you. And they're coming in as this person who wants to control the narrative now with the emperor. Could even be an Aries in the family. Look at that. Flippers, the three of swords. I feel like they did you kind of dirty. Okay. It may have involved lies. I'm going to get the light seers too. Can I clarify the three of swords from that person? Now they want to come in with a lot of love for you. So if you read it as a family member, it's Gemini. Okay. And they feel like they want to repair this relationship. It's coming from the Five of Pentacles, you know. So this person feels lost, maybe at a loss for words to apologize to you too. And I feel like this person never did it as well. So let's see this. Um, Can I see the lovers, please? Like, why does the family member of Libra come in that way? Gemini energy, King of Cups. 
just flipped right now. You can't even make up the energy. This guy is coming out so vibrantly lately for some reason. King of Cups is a water sign. I feel like it's a masculine in some of your guys' family. Um, for some of you, maybe this person has like sometimes feminine energy with the Scorpio energy of uh, the King of Cups. They are like, they were really rude in the past and they don't even know why to this day they were that way to you. They could come in as an emotional person too and someone who wants to bury this Three of Swords, okay? But it's going to take a lot of work. Okay, let me tell you, <laughs> it's going to take a lot of work. Can I see more on the King of Cups? What's the apology now? Yeah, judgment. Judgment and the death card. I think you're going to learn that this family member too wants to, you know, it's a reconciliation, the judgment card. When read, it's a decision and it could be a coming back around time for this family member. For some of you, it's a brother, okay? A direct sibling, like maybe older sister, older brother, and they've come to a judgment that they have to bury the hatchet. They also know karma is attached to you as a Libra. They might even know your birthday too. So they know your freaking justice. <laughs> I'm getting that from the judgment card. Thank you guys for the long reading today. If you like the reading style today, give me a thumbs up. That way I know I can read this way again for you. I want to thank you for your time. Now, before I let you go, because it's very, very cold in the tarot room, and I do have to plug in the heater here in a second. We're going to get a spiritual message from the clairvoyant deck here from Lauren Rainbow. And we're going to get the two cards that come out. Linking with spirit and let's get grounded. Whenever this card shows up, it's implying that you get grounded in the energy. Get some exercise. Get out in the open air. Breathe in that cool air too. It's very, very good for you. Any type of oxygen. And it says, if you find yourself overly emotional these coming days or the current moon has, struggling to remain in the present, focusing on the future or the past will not help you. It's just going to consistently confuse you. If you're constantly tired, then it's time to get grounded. Go out into an open space that's calm and meditative for you. As you continue to focus your breath pattern, all the thoughts of the future should be erased as you close your eyes and keep breathing in the moment of flow. All right, so let's get grounded. Beautiful energy, that was the first paragraph. And then linking with spirit. Let's read this really quickly. It says, establish a strong link as you breathe in the energy, which sends a clear signal that you're ready to connect. Picture somebody or picture a guide that you might think is close to you in your heart and mind. Invite them to come in and you might even know this particular person. Draw close the energy and share your light with them. Say a particular thought if you're studying mediumship or you are a tarot reader for the first time. This is the best practice with someone who's open to receiving a message. Connect with the 5D. They do want you there. Share evidential information with the sitter to validate that the link has been established with your loved one. Examples of this is that spirit would be following your intention and sending you synchronicities. Okay? That would be like the for sure telltale sign linking with spirit and source and your angels and guides. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Thank you for joining me. And of course, I will see you tomorrow. These are the two drops only for today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be one video. And I'm not sure if I want to do the soul cycle tomorrow or another sign. Um, if you have any requests, please let me know at the bottom of this video. And I want to thank you for your time and all of your support. Lighting up the comments is so amazing and I do appreciate you guys every day. We have Christmas stuff coming up. Uh, we might even have a Christmas live as well. And I'm giving away two of my tarot decks that week of Christmas. So the 20th through the 25th. Thank you for your time and I'll see you guys tomorrow.